What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Saturday, May 21st. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NBA playoffs. Let's take a look at this NBA showdown between the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. So for this video, I'm gonna start off with the value plays the sneaky plays, those guys that you might not be thinking about to build your lineup, and then we'll move into the studs and the mid-range plays. But for this single game slate, the most important thing is to find those low salary players that have upside to make your lineup different and to give you a chance to fit the other studs in your lineup to give your lineup salary relief. So. The first pick that I have for you here today is Duncan Robinson from the Miami Heat playing the Boston Celtics. And he averaged 19.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. Now he hadn't been playing, but he came back last game scored 21 fantasy points in 14 minutes so he's projected i would say he's gonna get another 18 to 22 fantasy points here tonight if he can play 15 to 20 minutes actually he's a his fantasy points per minute are only 0.76 so more realistically if he can play 20 minutes I think you can expect at least 15 fantasy points out of him. And if he plays 25 minutes, you can expect maybe 20 fantasy points. But he did score 21 fantasy points last game in 14 minutes. And he's only 2,200 DraftKings salary. So if he can come in and play 20 minutes and score close to 20 fantasy points or more, I think it would be a fantastic value play. Kind of a sneaky play that people probably aren't thinking about too much. Low ownership. So I like Duncan Robinson as a value play here versus the Boston Celtics. Now a super risky value play. Let me just check this scoring history here. Yeah, last game he played 17 minutes. He scored 10 fantasy points. He's only 1,000 DraftKings salary. So take a look at Ke uh, Caleb Martin from the Miami Heat. He averaged 18.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 23 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He scored 10, 7, and 5 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 17, 12, and 5 minutes. So his minutes have been trending up. So has his fantasy point production. He's averaging 0.82 fantasy points per minute. So if he gets close to 20 minutes here, he could score 15 plus fantasy points and at only 1,000 DraftKings salary. That would be a pretty good value play to give your lineup some salary relief and make your lineup different. So this is a high risk, high reward pick, super low salary if you want to make your lineup different in a tournament. So take a look at Caleb Martin. Let's see who else we have here for value plays. Um, I think that might be it. Well, let's go down to the mid-range players here. Those were the super cheap value plays. But now if you're looking around the 5K range, I think there's two players you can look to here. For the Boston Celtics, and this is probably one of the better plays on the slate, take a look at Grant Williams. He averaged 16.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 13% usage rate. But take a look at this. 
He scored 27, 13, and 42 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 34, and 39 minutes. So if they don't change the amount of minutes that he's going to play here tonight, Grant Williams playing 30 plus minutes, he's got a fantastic chance to hit value. He's only 5,600 DraftKings salary. So he's a pretty good low salary player to fit into your lineup to give you some extra salary to fit in those studs. A good mid-range player here playing plenty of minutes. He's got that 40 plus fantasy point upside even though that's pretty rare. He's most likely going to score somewhere around 20 to 30 fantasy points if he can play 30 plus minutes. He's averaging 0.7 fantasy points per minute on the season. But I like Grant Williams mostly because that he's playing 30 plus minutes a game here versus the Miami Heat. Okay guys, it's time to announce the winner of our $25 weekly PayPal giveaway. And the winner is Daryl Portis. Daryl Portis, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's $25 PayPal giveaway. And actually you had made a comment that you said, who the heck is Tria Turner? It's pronounced Trey. Come on, Chris. And you know what? You're right. That was pretty bad. It is Trey. It's not Tria. And guys, I am awful at pronunciations. So if I mispronounce a player's name, let me hear it in the comments. I probably should have known that was Trey. That was bad. That's on me. But please, guys, correct me if I mispronounce these names. I will try to cor uh, correct my pronunciation. So thank you so much to Daryl Portis. You are the winner of $25 PayPal. Please reply to our comment to collect your prize. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, now for the Miami Heat, the mid-range play that I like is Victor Oladipo. He averaged 22.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 22 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. Now, he hasn't scored all that much recently. He only scored 18, 14, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 26, 15, and 19 minutes. But he is averaging 0.95 fantasy points per minute. And he played 26 minutes last game. So if he plays 25 plus fantasy points here tonight, he should get around 25 fantasy points or more. And he's only 5,400 DraftKings salary. So that makes him an attractive value play. And he certainly does have that 30 plus fantasy point upside if he gets going. So I like Victor Oladipo as a value play here versus the Boston Celtics. Okay, now let's take a look at the studs in the mid-range players. These guys are mix and match type of guys. They're all in play. Any given game, one of these guys can go off and he could make his way into the winning lineup. So for the studs on the slate, for the Boston Celtics, you have Jason Tatum. He averaged 47.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game. With a 32% usage rate, he scored 43, 56, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 44, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 49.1 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 50 plus fantasy points in this one. He's 11,200 DraftKings salary. So I like Jason Tatum here versus the Miami Heat. 
Now for the Miami Heat, the stud on the slate is Jimmy Butler. He averaged 40.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He scored 42, 73, and 54 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 41, and 42 minutes. So he's been Jimmy Buckets in the playoffs, playing really well, at least the past few games. And he's projected at 44.3 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he could do 45 plus fantasy points. He's 10,800 DraftKings salary. So I like Jimmy Butler here versus the Boston Celtics. Now, just a, a hair down from these studs is Jalen Brown at 9,400. He averaged 39.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 31% usage rate. He scored 40, 46, and 33 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 33, 42, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 41.5 fantasy points here tonight, and that's right around his wheelhouse, scoring 40, 38 to 45 fantasy points. He's 9,400 DraftKings salary. Now he does have 50 plus upside if he gets going. So you got to consider Jalen uh, Brown here versus the Miami Heat. I almost said Jaylee Brown. That's an interesting name. Jaylee Brown. Okay, moving on. Bam Adebayo. Now, he has not played well. Look at his last five games. 20, 24, 25, 26, 35. Surprisingly poor performance from Ben Adebayo. He's, he's only 8,000 DraftKings salary. He was averaging 40.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 39.4 fantasy points here tonight. He was averaging 1.2 fantasy points per minute in the regular season. So it's just surprising that he's scored such so few fantasy points here. But my strategy with Bam Adebayo, I feel like he is just going to break out one of these games, put up a 50-plus fantasy point performance, and be in the winning lineup, maybe, maybe be the winning captain, because everyone's down on him. He's still playing plenty of minutes. His minutes dropped off last game, but he should be back to 35-plus minutes here tonight. And he certainly has that 40-plus fantasy point upside. So this is a buy-low opportunity on Bam Adebayo. He's going to put in that 45-plus fantasy point game. It's coming. So I'm just going to keep playing this guy uh, in at least one of my lineups until he hits. And he will. So I like Bam Adebayo here versus the Boston Celtics. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now, this was a surprise. Marcus Smart came back. I think he was questionable to start the day. He comes back and puts and drops 65 fantasy points in 40 minutes. That certainly took me by surprise. I thought it was going to be more Peyton Pritchard, who actually did pretty well, and more, um, uh, who's the other guy? More Derek White. Uh, but it turns out Derek White was the injured player last game. And guys, I do these videos early in the morning, so I didn't have that injury update when I did my video early in the morning. So it's up to you really to um, keep an eye on the injury news. It's only one game now, so it's not that difficult. You see Derek White is out and you see Marcus Smart was in. That should have been your cue to play some Marcus Smart and Peyton Pritchard. 
both of them did fantastic so Marcus Smart now he's priced up here he's 7600 DraftKings salary um, but he has been playing really well in the playoffs and there's no more concern about that foot injury I thought it might have been lingering injury I thought it was gonna eat into his minutes or his production that was certainly not the case so I like Marcus Smart here versus the Miami Heat now I also liked Robert Williams last game but he only played 19 minutes maybe that changes here tonight but he's 6800 DraftKings salary so I find him a little hard to get to although he could easily play close to 30 minutes and put up 35 plus fantasy points so don't count him out another guy that has been underperforming a little bit his minutes have come down is Tyler Hero he's 6400 DraftKings salary but I think he's still a decent play here he scored 18, 33, and 17 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 23, 27, and 15 minutes. So minutes a little bit low, but he is uh, historically a good player versus the Celtics. So he could go out there and put up a monster game at 6,400 DraftKings salary. Now Peyton Pritchard is 5,000 DraftKings salary. I don't super love this play here with Derek White and Marcus Smart back. I don't think he's going to get enough minutes to, to make up for that increase in salary. So I'm probably going to fade Peyton Pritchard unless Marcus Smart or um, Derek White are injured. Now Derek White is 6,000 DraftKings salary and apparently he's back. Um, he's not on the injury report. So he should play here tonight. How many minutes is he going to play? Nobody knows. So he's a wild uh, card. He's a question mark. And then you got Kyle Lowry, questionable. He's 6,200. If he comes back, how many minutes is he going to play? Oh, and then Al Horford came back. He played 32 minutes, scored 22 fantasy points. So I like some Al Horford here because if he's going to play 32 plus minutes, He's got that 40 plus fantasy point upside. He's 7,800 DraftKings salary. So I like Al Horford here versus the Miami Heat. If you wanna try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.